Hi, I'm Dr. Morales. In this video, I will discuss the unique characteristics of AFib symptoms at night. Every person is unique. While you probably have a lot in common with other AFib patients, your symptoms might also have some unique characteristics. Patients with AFib have a wide variety of triggers, and for some patients, they may experience a significant amount of symptoms at night. Several conditions can cause an increase in AFib symptoms at night, including sleep apnea, decreased REM sleep, and vagal AFib. Let's discuss the link between sleep apnea and AFib. It has been determined that 50% to 80% of AFib patients also have sleep apnea, a significantly higher rate than the general public. Sleep apnea is diagnosed through interruptions in breathing during sleep, like hypopneas or slow breathing and apneas, or temporary stops. Signs of sleep apnea include daytime fatigue, morning headaches, loud snoring, and pauses in breathing. Diagnosis usually involves an overnight sleep study in a lab or at home to monitor breathing and heart rhythm. Sleep apnea affects around 18 million Americans, with many cases undiagnosed. But what is the relationship between sleep apnea and AFib? The link between sleep apnea and AFib is not fully understood, but there's clear evidence that they influence each other. Untreated sleep apnea can worsen AFib, while treating sleep apnea can enhance AFib treatment success. Sleep apnea changes heart structure and function, straining the heart and increasing heart rate and blood pressure. This strain can lead to abnormal heart rhythms like AFib. But does treating sleep apnea improve AFib? CPAP treatment for sleep apnea can improve AFib by 42%, reducing symptoms and enhancing success rates of AFib procedures like cardioversion or even a catheter ablation. Now let's discuss poor quality sleep, decreased REM sleep, and AFib. Sleep consists of two types, REM sleep and non-REM sleep with three stages, each linked to specific brain waves. Throughout the night, you cycle through these stages multiple times with longer REM periods towards morning. REM sleep begins around 90 minutes after falling asleep. During this phase, eyes move rapidly behind closed lids, brain waves resemble wakefulness, breathing quickens and becomes irregular, heart rate and blood pressure rise, most dreaming takes place, arm and leg muscles temporarily paralyze to prevent acting out dreams. The exact purpose of REM sleep remains unknown, but it aids in forming new brain pathways crucial for learning and memory. Poor sleep quality heightens the risks of health issues like high blood pressure, heart disease, and diabetes. How does AFib relate to poor sleep? Research shows that poor sleep and reduced REM sleep are strong predictors of future AFib occurrences. Patients with AFib often experience more nighttime awakenings, which predict a higher risk of AFib. The link between REM sleep and AFib may involve sleep's impact on the autonomic nervous system, crucial for heart rate and blood pressure regulation. Let's talk now about vagus nerve-induced AFib. The vagus nerve regulates heart rate, digestion, and reflexes like coughing and sneezing. It's linked to the body's rest and digest functions. But are treatments different for vagal atrial fibrillation? Vagal AFib, an irregular heart rhythm linked to vagus nerve activity, lacks standardized diagnostic criteria due to its rarity. Characteristics include occurrence in younger patients with normal heart structure, being intermittent, and often preceded by bradycardia. If you experience nighttime AFib symptoms, consider discussing vagal AFib with your doctor, as it may require different treatment approaches. Vagal AFib shows lower responsiveness to common AFib meds like beta blockers, with some patients feeling worse on these meds. Flecainide could be a more suitable option for some with vagal AFib, while catheter ablation has shown positive results for many patients. But why does AFib get worse at night for some patients? There are several reasons patients may have more significant episodes of AFib at night as discussed. Sleep apnea and vagal-induced AFib can be a common reason why some people get more symptoms at night. During the night, the natural heartbeat slows down, which can allow more time for erratic heart beats or extra beats that can cause atrial fibrillation episodes to start. Lastly, patients are more frequently in tune with their heartbeat at night while still and everything is quiet, making symptoms of AFib more noticeable. But how do I stop AFib at night? There are several maneuvers that can help stop an atrial fibrillation episode at night, including deep breathing exercises, yoga, biofeedback, and taking additional medications as directed by your doctor. But always discuss with your doctor which method may be safe or effective in your case. Lastly, are there natural treatments that can help with AFib? 
If you are interested in natural AFib treatment options and motivated to improve symptoms naturally, reduce medications or procedures, then check out my unique online program, Take Control Over AFib. Lifestyle changes and reducing inflammation are vital for managing AFib long term. Addressing the root cause can greatly benefit AFib patients. Tailored lifestyle changes can ease symptoms, lessen medication reliance, and enhance catheter ablation success. Many patients lack guidance on making these crucial lifestyle changes. That's why I designed the Take Control Over AFib program, providing a step-by-step -step plan for natural AFib improvement. Thinking about lifestyle changes is simple, but committing to achieve real results requires time and dedication. With my plan, you can achieve powerful, lasting results. In conclusion, underlying conditions such as sleep apnea, decreased REM sleep, and vagal AFib can all result in an increase in AFib symptoms at night. Improving your sleep quality and treating sleep apnea can help you manage AFib better and improve your general health. If you are experiencing more AFib symptoms at night or at rest, talk to your doctor about the possibility of vagal atrial fibrillation. Each of these conditions has available interventions and treatments and can help you keep better control of your AFib and improve your quality of life.